Live from London, this is BBC News. Some Palestinians are set to leave Gaza for medical treatment in the United Arab Emirates. We have a special report. Riot police have fired rubber bullets and tear gas at protesters in Venezuela who've taken to the streets to denounce the official result of Sunday's election. Shock and grief after two children were killed and nine others injured in a knife attack in Southport. And this is Paris, live this morning, where the organisers of the Olympic Games have postponed the men's triathlon by a day due to concerns about pollution in the River Seine. Hello and a very warm welcome to the programme. I'm Sally Bundock. We start in the Middle East where five busloads of sick and wounded Palestinians are set to leave Gaza for medical treatment abroad. It would be one of the largest single evacuations of the sick and wounded since the war began last October after Hamas attacked Israel. Israel's sweeping military operations against Hamas have decimated Gaza's healthcare system. The World Health Organization says there are still 10,000 more patients that need to leave Gaza. International journalists are not allowed into Gaza, but Barbara Plett Usher reports using footage sent by a local cameraman. A rare chance for Gaza's sick and injured to get the care 